Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicki and this is my intro video for at the Alice in Wonderland Project Pan. This is a Pantastic Ladies Club, so I will make sure to link them down below for you. Hope you will consider joining us. So this project starts today, March 5th, and it's going to run all the way until March 4th of 2023. That feels like such a long ways away at this point. Um, but I know it'll fly by fast, especially when you're trying to pan, right? So let's get started with the prompts that I picked. So the first prompt in this project that I chose is going to be the prompt for Alice, which is a childlike product. And for that, I chose my Live Glam palette in Whimsical Garden. I just chose it because all of these butterflies. Um, if I can get it open. And this is what it looks like. It's a lot of neutrals. There's like a berry shade here, some topes and things like that. My goal for this is to hit pan at least in one shade, um, if not more. I used this a little bit in some projects last year, but didn't really give it enough love or the love that it deserved, quite honestly. Um, so that is for my first prompt. And then the second one is for the prompt, who are you, a product? You have no idea where it came from. So I have this lip by Visanti. The color is called Smart Mom. I don't know where this came from. I don't know if it was Ipsy or like, I'm sure it came from some subscription box. I just zero idea which one. Um, so I have started working on this. Um, there is some windowing like right about here and I don't know if you can see that if I get it close enough. No, the camera's not going to pick it up. Um, I'm trying to see where else there's a window. There's a window here, but it's, there it is. So you can see that, that kind of dark colored gap. I don't know if that's where I'm at on this because I just, I can't tell. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So my goal for this is to try and get this used up. We are getting to where it's getting close to its expiration date. So I've had it open for almost a year now and I want to get some good usage out of it before I completely roll it out of my collection. And for the third prompt, I have off with her head, a hair care item. So I have this OGX Cherry Blossom. Um, it's a heavenly hydration shampoo. So I want to go ahead and get this used up. This is obviously brand new. Um, I love cherry blossoms and I really just want to get a chance to use this. I have two other bottles, but um, I'm just going to try to get through one for this project. And then for the fourth prompt, I got uh, Cheshire Cat, a lip product. So I chose this Pixie Lip Balm in unique pink. My goal for this one is to finish. I don't have a whole lot left. Um, this is one of those color changing balms. So once you put it on, it changes with your body chemistry. Um, it, it's a really beautiful kind of like a, I want to say like a princess pink, but not like in your face pink. It's just, it's a really nice color. And then for prompt number five, I have Why is a Raven Like a Writing Desk? This is a gimme product. And I had this in a project last year. If you watch any of my videos, you know I was kind of basically hoarding the last little bit. Um, it, I think it's just time to go ahead and say goodbye to this. This is my Lime Crime Gloss in Wild Cherry. And if I can find the line, it is right there. So literally you can see even in the bottle. Now what's funny is right here, there's a big old glob stuck by the stopper. I am not taking the stopper out and scraping every last bit of this. Number one, it's too messy. And number two, it's glitter. So it'll be, it'll be everywhere. It'll be everywhere. And I just don't want to have to clean glitter from my house for weeks on end. So that one, I'm, I'm actually sad to see it go. But at the same time, I'm excited to finish a product, a product. Y'all know I cannot speak at all. So anyway, then the sixth project, project, oops, there you go again. The sixth prompt is 
not all who wander are lost, a product discovered by accident or at random. So I discovered this one year. Ulta used to have the 25 days of beauty or something like that at the end of the year. And on December 25th, I would always wait till December 25th because they always had the best deals on palettes. That's how I got my Moon Dust palette from Urban Decay. It was 50% off and I held out for it. Um, so this, I actually discovered this brand and I'm actually in love with this brand. Check them out if you have not. But this is Beauty Bakery and the palette is breakfast in bed that I'll be working on for this sixth prompt. Again, my goal for this is just to hit pan in one shade. I don't even think I've used this. No, I take that back. I have. Um, it's a lot of browns and like dark colors, but I'm excited to kind of play with these a little bit and mix it up with that whimsical garden and kind of make some really pretty looks with them. So this is my palette here from Beauty Bakery and I just like their packaging it is so oops oops still blinding hold on Whoop, there we go it is so darn cute like this little waffle here with the tray and the doily and the coffee or the cocoa it might be cocoa um, probably cocoa because um, it looks like little bits of chocolate scattered through here so cute so darn cute um, so that is my sixth Excuse me, I really can't speak. I'm a little, I'm a little tired. Um, yesterday was a really long day. So anyway, that is going to be my six products for the Alice in Wonder Pan project pan. If you're doing this project, please let me know down below. I would love to follow you, see your progress, cheer you on. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. Consider describing. Hit the notification bell for every time I upload a video, and I will see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.